What's up babes, it's Carlisa Victoria back with yet another video. If you guys are new here, hi, welcome to my channel. If you've already been subscribed, thanks for coming back. So in this video, I actually wanted to talk about how not to get bored with your locks, things that you can do to not be so bored. Now you guys know that your girl literally has a very simple like routine when it comes down to my hair, when it comes down to the basics. But let me just tell you, let me just say this, okay? Let me say all this to say that if a routine is literally what you're focused on, that is already gonna get you out of boredom. And if you're new, like I said, and if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. So oftentimes, even the people who are decisive become a little bored sometimes with things. They're just decisive, they know what they want. Um, and other people who are indecisive are probably constantly bored. But let me just tell you how I haven't been bored with my locks even though my routine is very simple and um even though i'm very decisive when it came back to my locks and me getting locks i haven't i have not even gone through the phase of being like do i really want locks do i not girl i knew i wanted locks and i went back to my lock my second set of locks because this is what i wanted i am less than a month away from hitting three years locked and i'm super excited and you guys are probably wondering girl how did you make it nearly three years not constantly coloring your hair not constantly cutting or what how did you make it this far without feeling bored first things first like i said when you start your locks if you're new to the lock journey here's my advice if you know that you desire colored locks right i would say dye or bleach your hair the color in which you want before you start the locks reason being you will go into the locks with that texture now of however your hair turns out after you color it or bleach it right if you have the time from the time in which you color the hair try to give yourself some weeks or you know months if you feel like you don't have to do your locks right away to rehydrate and moisturize your hair before you start the locks me personally on this set of locks since i've had locks in the past i kind of know how my hair goes and how to take care of it i actually bleached my hair and in the same day started the locks and i know that could be like but my hair was already on a routine. My hair was already moisturized. My hair was already, so when I went to bleach my hair, it didn't take such a dramatic hit that's like, dang, she never moisturizes her hair. So it's just about to pop. No, my hair was moisturized. Cut it out, Bricks. My hair was moisturized. It was exactly what it needed to be. Hey! So I didn't really take a hit like that. However, I feel like if you know you want blonde, you want red, you want whatever, try to bleach your hair and try to take some weeks or some months to um, get your hair hydrated and where it needs to be before starting them. And if you're like me and you already know the condition of your hair before you dye your hair, then if you want to do it same day or next day, do your thing. But if you're somebody who's not rushing the process or you're somebody who doesn't have a deadline as to when to start or you're not someone who just wants to start off the cuff and you have time, then just work that into your schedule. That's what I did. I went blonde. And then I ended up starting my locks and I think probably after like five, six months into locks when I started dyeing my hair again, I think somewhere after five or six months, your girl dyed her hair back black from blonde bricks. I could see you and it's a no. Hey, no sir, bricks. No sir, boo boo. So I um dyed my hair back black. Once I dye my hair black, I literally have not like bleached it again or anything. That was just how I, Briggs. Okay, I'm coming. I gotta act like I'm getting up. Cause... Okay, okay. Every time I act like I'm getting up, he stopped doing whatever I told him to stop doing. Anyway, but I dyed my hair black and I just haven't like gone back to any bleach, any anything. The only thing I do is I dye my hair with Jet Black Dark and Lovely, which I've told you guys, cut it out, Bricks, that I'm about to re-up on my dye anyway. I just bought a dye yesterday in hopes to um, re-up on my Jet Black just to freshen it up or whatever. So that's that. So that's all I do as far as maintenance. But I say if you need to have a little fun during the process, bleach it, dye it, whatever, before you start. 
that will help at least half a year to a year of you not feeling bored because you got this popping color your hair is going from curls to different textures to this to that to that now obviously when your hair starts to lock in the middle some people go ahead and they just keep dying and dying and dying and then wonder why their texture looks like too straight or too whatever it's because that processed chemical is literally straightening your locks the hairs on your locks and some people don't care um which to each his own but i'm just saying that is one way definitely to keep you from being bored and like i mentioned before a routine if you have a routine you have something to constantly look forward to if you know that you wash your hair once a week you moisturize your hair once a week you oil your hair once every two weeks or whatever it's a routine you have something to look forward to as far as maintenance maintenancing your hair if you don't have a routine you just feel like okay i'm waking up i'm going i don't have anything going my hair is starting to bore me but why is it boring you if it's your hair is a constant project now you don't have to have a million steps to be able to execute what you're trying to do with your hair but at the same time it's that thing of like okay well you know if you want to get results you got to do the things that it's going to take to have the results and that's what i like to do um so i would definitely say color before routine those two definite um another thing that i would say um to stay bored uh, to not be bored of your locks is find you about a good three to five styles that works for you for me a lot of times i wear down i wear half up half down i'll wear a bun up top of my head low pony low whatever whatever few styles that works for you that you really like band two knots braid outs whatever have your styles on the go so maybe if you're getting bored with your hair constantly being straight and you want a little razzle dazzle curl then you can band two knot or you can two strand twist or you can braid out or you can do any of that that right there also will help you feel the freshness because it's almost like okay once before maybe you were wearing your hair pressed out blowed out or you were always getting straight long weaves or whatever and then sometimes you know just like when you have your your sew-ins sometimes you want it bone straight and sometimes you like girl hit me with that body wave i need to let them see all of the waves okay you can do that just bantu knot your hair or you know do whatever so i um definitely would say that that's a big thing um definitely a big thing Um, another thing that I would say to keep you from being bored with your locks. Like I said before, I don't even know what that was. Oh, y'all, my neck is feeling a little bit better. So last night before I went to sleep, I took an airborne. And um, I still feel a little stiffness like on the right here going down. But like as far as my neck, there's still stiffness in it. But not so bad to where I could barely turn my head like yesterday. Baby, but I still do feel a little like ache but it's cool it's it's working its way in my body anyway um yeah yeah like i was saying y'all before the storage filled up but if you're decisive about knowing that you wanted to go back to locks in the first place then i think that you will have less moments of boredom because you already knew what you want but i feel like if you were indecisive didn't know if you wanted locks or didn't know if you wanted to go back to locks or something like that then you might struggle more with the boredom than people who were, are decisive and know what they're looking for too um, another thing is you can play with like hair jewelry if you feel like um, I used to do that often and you know in my first set of locks I used to always have a little you know you could do that if you want um, I used to have one shell on the back of one of my locks um, in my first set but I mean this journey I really don't really do all of that who knows this summer I might razzle dazzle and you guys know I have babe with locks so if you're not following babe with locks on Instagram go follow babe with locks because you guys know that that is my uh lock page and i probably will be coming through with um some locked jewelry for the locks at some point so definitely stay tuned i do have hats right now that are available so if you're interested in that let your girl know support um and then yeah so that's what i would say those are some tips that i would say not to be bored with your locks another thing is start setting goals because if you start setting goals uh for your locks i know i said a routine but like length goals so say that your goal is like me my desired length is to reach my lower back just like i used to wear my weaves that's how long i'm gonna grow my locks so for me it's like okay 
I might say I want to grow try to grow my hair to my bra strap by the end of summer or by the end of the year so that's going to motivate me to want to be like okay so what routine should I be doing what oils should I use what supplement should I be taking and what um shampoo and conditioner should I be using right now to achieve the goals that I'm saying that I want to achieve that's how I target things that's how I figure things out is by seeing saying hey okay I said I wanted this I said I wanted to do that I can do that if da, 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 da. so I would definitely encourage you to set the length goals first now some of y'all might your length goals might be my actual goal right now because not everybody wants long locks I mean I've met people who don't want they want their locks to stop exactly where mine is and forever keep cutting them this length everybody doesn't desire long locks and this is my locks I know I didn't do my turnaround today like I usually do but this is where my hair is now no retwist or anything I know I have on black, so I was trying to shake my hair a little bit so you can kind of see where it was at if it's blending in. But that's where your girl's hair is right now, and that's no retwist, that's no um, product on my hair right now. And I had to wash the product, like the edge control, out this morning because, like I said, if I do end up dyeing my hair, I'm going to need there to be no product in my hair at all so that I can just go ahead and dye it. And typically, the dark and lovely shampoo that I or hair dye that I use it comes with a conditioner pack for after color um, so by me shampooing it now like this morning and then when I go in to go do the um, the um, color and then I condition it's like at least I got a shampoo and condition throughout the day right so I'll be doing that um, but I do want if I do retwist my hair today and well, I won't say like a complete retwist but if I do like a braid out or advance you not today then I'm likely to um, do it right after I color and my hair dries a little bit just so that I can literally like color wash style that would be the goal and I would need it to air dry by the time I go to bed so it's not like soaking up pillows and stuff like that but if I don't do it today it's fine I could do it like tomorrow in the morning or something like that but I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do yet. I do have the dye in the hair in the house right now. So if I wanted to do it now, I could. But I just feel like if I dye my hair right now, I'm gonna have to jump in the shower, wash it again. Then I'm gonna have to let it air dry. Then I'm gonna have to style it. So it's a whole process. I'm not gonna be able to just like dye my hair and then just walk around freely without it dripping all over the place. So I have to think smart on how I'm about to do that and yeah and i wanted to clean up and do some stuff so i know that it's probably not gonna make sense to wash my hair right now or to dye my hair right now because it's gonna hold me up so we'll see but that's where i'm at right now with all of this um just trying to get it together basically so yeah i hope this video helped i'm still in the middle of vlogging for today but make sure you guys like comment share subscribe if you want to keep up with me i'm on tiktok uh, Instagram, YouTube at Crayley's of Victoria, spell the exact same way as my YouTube name. So make sure y'all tap in, show your girl some love. Um, and like I said, all the platforms are different. So if you want to keep up with me from different angles of my life, I would say that they're all going to give you different angles of my life, honestly. So I'll see you, beautiful babes, in my next video. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you later.